fake. Young goes deep middle. He's got Jerry Rice. Touchdown, 49ers. Yeah, right now. Congratulations, 49ers. Super Bowl pass. Rice has just set a Super Bowl record. The game is over. San Francisco has won Super Bowl 23. Jerry Rice. YouTube, what is up? I am you guy Rez, and we are back again with another edition of Welcome to the Bay. This is volume eight, and today I wanted to share with you guys some new pickups in my jersey vault. So I recently just picked these jerseys up. I actually went to fans and I saw that there was a sale on one of the two jerseys I'm about to share with you guys. It makes sense why this jersey is on sale. I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. But I will say this, shout outs to my Niners. I know we're not doing that great right now in the season. We just had our loss against the freaking Seattle Seahawks. I'm not a Seahawks fan, not hating or anything like that, but we're not doing so great. We're not doing so great. But at the end of the day, I rep my team till the day I die. So without further ado, here's the two pickups. All right, so I am holding in my hand two black 49ers jerseys the one on my right right here is a george kittle this is the nike pro line george kittle jersey in the black colorway and then right here on my left i am holding the nike vapor limited nick bosa jersey So these two jerseys are super dope. These are actually my first two black 49ers jerseys, believe it or not. I am currently looking for a Colin Kaepernick one and a Navarro Bowman in the black colorway, but I cannot find those joints anywhere. So if anybody has them or has a lead on those joints, feel free to send me a message. But these are two dope jerseys for sure. I think the black jerseys, the alternate colors that the Niners wore for a short period of time are one of the dopest designs. I think it's it's a new look. I love it. You know, I'm a big fan of these colorways and I was really, really sad when the Niners decided to discontinue with this look. One of them is actually screen printed, which is the George Kittle. They didn't have the stitched version of this jersey, but this jersey, like I said right here, I'm gonna put the Nick Bosa aside for a second and focus on the Kittle. You know, probably one of my favorite tight ends to date right now. And, uh, you know, George Kittle is such an explosive player. So exciting to watch a very, very young kid who has his whole career ahead of him. So believe it or not, guys, between the pro line jersey of this and the Vapor Limited of the Bosa, there are subtle differences that I noticed upon looking at both of them in hand. Um, one of them is obviously the screen press, screen print of the jersey. One is stitched, one is not. Um, obviously, in terms of longevity and durability, uh, the Nick Bosa, the Vapor Limited will last longer than the, you know, George Kittle typically just because, you know, you throw this in a wash multiple times, depending on how you wash and clean this jersey, it can potentially crack and the print will eventually start to fade off and crack. So um, this is just kind of like a quick jersey to wear around. Um, but again, like I said, I hand wash typically a lot of my jerseys. Um, and clothing just so you know it doesn't mess it up or shrink in size but i don't have to worry about this because this is 100 percent polyester i believe so it will not shrink but like i said there is no stitching involved with this jersey uh the numbers and letters are all screen printed on and then in front of the jersey you have your nfl shield right there which is like a plastic shield it looks like it's single stitch right there on the neck collar and then the 49ers branding right there um right below the nfl shield is also screen printed the 85 in the front is screen printed as well along with the arm sleeve then of course the nike swoosh is also printed as well on the shoulders of the jersey you have george kittle's number that is screen printed as well the jock tag on this jersey is an extra large just like the nick bosa as well however what i noticed on the nick bosa jersey the jock tag looks a little bit more cleaner um this one is kind of wrinkly i don't know if it's just kind of a cheap jock tag that they use but that was one of the biggest differences that I saw then on the neck of the jersey you have like a screen printed 
uh, neck tag it looks like right there and it is size extra large and this one was made in Guatemala. This jersey retailed for $99.99 which is $100 plus change. Um, you know I know a lot of people and jersey heads such as myself they prefer to get the authentics or a stitch version. I totally get it. The only reason like I said I pulled the trigger on this was because of how cheap it was. But like I said if you are trying to go the cheapest route that you possibly can go for this version the proline version because again you're still repping the same player and the same team you know and the jersey like i said is it, not bad it's not bad quality also on the side of the jersey this was probably another big indicator that i saw which differentiated this jersey from the nick bosa but you have like these polyester mesh traditional mesh holes right here on the side of the jersey i don't know why they did that on this version really really odd to me i like this you know i think that this jersey uh has a much larger fit than the nick bosa even though they are both sized and tagged at an extra large i don't know why that is i don't know if it's because of the side panels i don't know if it's because the jersey's heat press but for some odd reason upon trying both of them on i noticed that the pro line the screen printed version of this jersey runs a little bit bigger than the Nick Bosa. Really odd, I still am scratching my head trying to figure that out. All right, so let me put the George Kittle down and focus on this Nick Bosa right here. So just like the George Kittle jersey, this jersey is the black colorway as well. However, obviously the biggest difference is that the numbers and letters on this jersey are stitched. You have Nick Bosa's number, number 97, that is single stitched in that really, really nice scarlet red color. You have the 49ers branding that is stitched on the jersey as well. And then you have like this mesh neck collar right here with the NFL shield. But the NFL shield on here has this like really like metallic shiny look to it compared to the George Kittle jersey, which is a little more flat. The jock tag is also a big indicator. Like I said, this jock tag looks much more cleaner and it has like that laser effect as you can see as I move the jock tag around in front of my camera. This definitely had a lot more work put into it than the screen printed versions jock tag. I don't know why they didn't just do it the same way. Maybe it cost more money, maybe it didn't. But like I said, I like this shiny metallic jock tag right here on the side panel of the jersey like i said you don't have any traditional mesh holes like the george kittle jersey has this jersey also has screen printed stripes just like the george kittle and the nick bosa there's no change on that i didn't notice any major changes with the quality in terms of the screen print it felt exactly the same the nike swoosh on this jersey is actually embroidered and not screen printed like the george kittle shoulder numbers are also single stitch on this jersey and they are not screen printed like the george kittle and then on the back of the jersey you have nick bosa's name that is single stitched in that scarlet red along with the 97 that is single stitched as well and as i've mentioned before in my previous video that i did a while back on my jimmy g vapor elite jersey the newer jerseys for the nfl for the niners they have like this cut this like vertical and horizontal cut i still don't know why that is i think they did that to have the jersey keep its shape uh, i'm not too sure to be honest i tried to research that and i couldn't really find why that is you have the horizontal and you have the vertical stitching right there as opposed to the george kittle which does not have any of it on the neck tag of the jersey it looks exactly the same as the george kittle except the biggest difference that i saw on here was that it's actually made in honduras and not guatemala retail on this jersey is 150 dollars. it is 50 dollars more than the george kittle which is 99.99 but like i said you are getting what you pay for you know you're getting the quality of a stitch jersey with stitch numbers and letters in the back as opposed to a screen print so if you throw this in the wash you know it'll have a lot more wears and durability to it and it won't really peel off you know like your traditional screen printed uh pro line jersey would be so it's pretty cool because i have options you know i have the screen printed version of george kittle and the black and then i also have the vapor limited version right here of nick bosa that is stitched and then i have the vapor elite of the jimmy g garoppolo jersey in the scarlet red so you know i have all three different type versions of the jersey and kind of compare and contrast and i've learned that this jersey right here is probably going to be your best choice when trying to decide on figuring out which jersey you should buy this jersey in between i think is pretty good quality it's not too expensive and it's not too cheap of quality and again for the 49ers jerseys one of the benefits of having 
most of their jerseys is that their jerseys are typically single stitched and not double stitched you know or double twill or whatever you want to call it because again like i said the authentic version of the vapor elite jimmy garoppolo i have is also single stitch it's just got shorter sleeves obviously like the players wear on the field and then of course the material of the jersey that is used is much more heavier and it's got more durability that is pretty much my review on these jerseys i really hope you enjoyed that it really sucks because i know nick bosa is injured and he's out for pretty much the rest of the season against that game we had against the jets i'm still still haunted by that but one of the benefits of having him out for the season in a creepy way is that this jersey actually was on sale you know his jerseys right now at fans and lids and online wherever you decide to buy a nick bosa jersey is on sale so check it out if you're looking to stock up on nick bosa's gear right now this jersey his scarlet red jersey and i think his white jersey all his jerseys pretty much i think are on sale right now because he's on the injured reserve list for the 49ers i know that sounds pretty effed up but it's the truth you know when a player leaves a team or if a player is injured or out for the season typically their jerseys will go on sale and um you know i i would never want to wish ill intent on any of my 49ers but like i said if it's gonna give me a good deal if i can take that opportunity to get a really really great price on a jersey of a player because of that reason you best believe i'm gonna do that and that is pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed that video please like the video share the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so if you have already thank you so much hope you guys have a wonderful day thanks for staying with me and watching this video i will see you all in the next one i am out peace